tell us a little bit about what happened um, for you to get the role of Peppa Pig. What did you have to do to, to get the role? How did you feel when you, uh, when you got it? Well, first what you've got to do is you've got to go up for an audition. Then you might get pencilled and then they'll tell you if you've got the part or not. And um, I was lucky enough to get the part. And at the it's, it's, really, it's all been really, really exciting with it. And I've had, it's just a really, really great experience for me. And are there, are there any times when you are, and I guess this is the same to all of you, is there any time when you're out and about doing your shopping or your everyday work, when people suddenly recognise your voices from the roles that you play? Oh, no, do you want to start off with? I, I've, I've never really had that. No. I guess it's because you're not snorting too much as well. Maybe, maybe if when you talked, you went <laughs> at the end, maybe that would happen. Yeah, I, I'm afraid I, I, I have had that quite a bit. You know, around Sainsbury's, <laughs> you, all of a sudden, you, you know, something out the corner of your eye, your peripheral vis vision, you see a little child stop and go, Mummy, Mummy. <laughs> and then about five minutes later, further down the shop, you go, Excuse me, I, I, I don't want to bother you. And, 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 and yeah, but it's, 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 it's a wonderful thing to be a part of. It's so magical. Um, it's but not I, I think it is, it, it is quite, it can be quite alarming for, for little ones to, to have their parents say, look, look, it's Daddy Pig. And they're saying, no, it's not. It's a 50-year-old a man who sounds a bit like <laughs> Peppa Pig, D also, Daddy Pig. Also probably a little bit alarming for you, you know, people pe pointing at you and saying Daddy Pig. It's probably not, you know. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of grow to get used to it. Well, I'm used to that one. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> Well, when, from your point of view, obviously, you don't look like anything like your character, and, <laughs> well, not much, and, um, but, but, but it is unmistakably Mummy Pig. Um, I mean, does that come out, is, is that something that people... Well, it's, it's, it's strange, because it doesn't really sound that much like my voice, but Mark and Nev are very specific when they, when, they, when they ask you to do a voice, and I wouldn't necessarily have known, you know, how to do Mummy Pig's voice. She's just, you know, sounds a little bit like, you know, just sort of warmer and, and nice. And they were very specific about how they wanted that to be. And then I do Madame Gazelle as well. Madame Gazelle, who, you know, sings the Bing Bong song. And, uh, and they, again, they was, they're, they're sort of quite specific. They certainly say no when they don't like a voice. Uh, you know, <laughs> she's just greeted with them, just mm, <laughs> a lot of whispering. Um, and Nev is surprisingly tough and strict. Um, <laughs> But I, I think, as I say, it really all comes from Mark and Nev, and then, and then we, we sort of um, try different things and try different voices, and then suddenly they go, oh, yeah, that one, that one, we like that one. So that's how it sort of uh, evolves. So, John, if I can bring you in now, maybe if you want to just grab the microphone from Harley a second. Um, you're you're yeah. obviously um, uh, the narrator on the show. Um, Invisible, yes. Which is, we, we, so we don't actually see a character for you. No, th there's no character for me. The narrator is, is just... Just a, a disembodied voice, but I do I do some of the other smaller characters. I do Mr. Potato. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh, has this outrageous French accent? He talks like this, you know. And all you children must eat your vegetables. They are good for you, Mr. Potato. So presum you. presumably, <clears throat> when you're in Sainsbury's, people will come up to you and say it's Mr. Potato when they. Uh, if I'm talking like this, yes, they do, yes. <laughs> and then they ask me to leave. Um, but Mark, Mark and Neville are very good because there are a lot of, of the smaller characters which only have one or two lines occasionally. So they will say, well, just try a few things out. And, and they will go with some quite interesting choices. I mean, who would have thought that Pedro Pony's father would sound a bit like Sean Connery? <laughs> but it does, Mr. Pony. And Mr. Labrador, I was a little bit like Tommy Cooper. I was, oh, yeah, I was a lot of those. So they went with that. So bless them and thank them for that.